Hi, I'm Rebecca Velasquez, licensed clinical social worker and yoga and meditation teacher. Today I'm doing a very special meditation for children. It's a healing, it's a heart healing meditation. So you can do this with children as young as three. So children take on anxiety, stress, even though they might not be able to verbalize it, they really feel it energetically. So it could be, you know, here we are in September, children are going back to school. There's anxiety for a lot of children. Children transition differently. It could be the loss of a pet, sibling rivalry, divorce, um, anything, you know, that your child is going through, death of a family member. So this is a way that you can work with your child. And especially before bed, children are extra sensitive. I know that we've just moved um, from one uh, state to the other and my children are definitely feeling a, a lot of anxiety especially at night so I've been actually doing this exercise with them at night and it's been really helpful for them so I have my friend here Sam he has volunteered to do this with me so when you do this you know you don't need to be an energy healer the power in this is the fact that you have this wonderful unconditional love for your child and that's what really connects your heart and that's what really allows you to work with your child energetically um, and it's also their imagination. They believe in magic, they, they feel the energy, they can really visualize it. So that's what you have going for you when you're doing this. So normally you'd be lying down with your child and just feeling your heart connected with their heart, feeling that you're in a good heart space, you know, when you're doing this, that's important. You might even want to sage yourself, sage the room, that's always a good energy clearing thing to do. So anyway, Sam, I want to clean out your heart, is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. Can you think of anything that's made you feel sad or anything that's made you feel scared? No. You can't think of it. Okay. Well, <laughs> I bet at some point you felt scared or sad and we'll just even pretend. Okay? Okay. <laughs> so he would be, I, I, again, assuming he's feeling sadness or anxiety, he's going to visualize it and he's going to even push it out as I'm pulling it out. So we're just going to pretend we're pulling it out. You can even imagine a dump truck taking away all these feelings and just push it out of your body as I'm pulling it. Visualize it just going away. So we're going to do that and then we're going to imagine that there's this wonderful light above and a wonderful hose that's connecting the light to your heart white hose and we're going to bring in good things. So what kinds of things would you want to bring into your heart? Anything that just makes you feel happy? Don't you don't know? Where are your acting skills? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to make it up for you. So it could be trucks, it could be going out for ice cream, it could be friends, butterflies and rainbows, right? Just anything that's making your heart feel really good. Got it? What topic do you find during a dragon? Dragons. Bring in a dragon. Awesome. So then after that, I just like to close the heart with some navy blue curtains. And I imagine these curtains that have holes in it that can bring in light, but no light will escape. And then the child will go to bed. So they just go to bed feeling like their heart is full of good things and that their heart has been cleaned out. So as I said, you can do this with children as young as three. Um, they will definitely feel it. When I do it with really young children, I don't really have the hose picture. I just really say, what do you want to bring into your heart? My three-year-old is able to convey, you know, I want to have pizza, ice cream. So he's able to feel it too. So it's a really cool exercise to do. And I just wanted to give you this content so you can take it home with you with your own children. So thank you very much. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and stay tuned. I will be doing more uh, videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.